Hello everybody and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday with Page One Power. Page One Power is an SEO link building firm based out of Boise, Idaho. My name is Corey Collins and I'm the content marketing manager here at Page One Power. So today I want to show you how to set up alerts in BuzzSumo, specifically alerts for any time your brand is mentioned online or when another website links to yours. As you can see here I'm in the content research tab in BuzzSumo which is the primary tab, it's the core functionality of the tool. If you haven't used BuzzSumo before, I highly recommend it. It's a must-have tool here at Page One Power. It's great for content marketers, social media managers, um, SEOs, anyone who is involved even tangentially with content or social performance. It's really powerful. Today I want to show you monitoring specifically though. As you can see, we're in the top tab here. Just flip over to monitoring. And as you can see, I've already set up a few alerts, but today I want to show you how to set up alerts. So hover over to create new alert, and right off the bat, you can see there are six potential alerts we can set up. Brand mentions, competitor mentions, content from a website, keyword mentions, backlinks, and an author. All right, so let's talk through these just really briefly here. Brand mentions, pretty pretty straightforward. When someone mentions your brand online and BuzzSumo finds that mention, they're going to, to alert you. Competitor mentions. Same idea when someone mentions your competitors online, BuzzSumo will go ahead and send you an alert. Content from a website. This is pretty brilliant. Um, you can set up an alert for a specific website and when they publish content or a page and it gets so many social shares, which you set the filter for, BuzzSumo will send you an alert. Keyword mentions, pretty straightforward. This is great if you have a unique product or service name and you want to see when it's mentioned online. Backlinks, this is when someone links to your site, BuzzSumo will find that link and send you an alert and let you know it happened. And author, that's great if there's an author in your industry you really respect or perhaps a competitor that you just want to see when they're active and when they publish something new. Pretty straightforward. So today, let's go ahead and look at how to set up a brand mention alert. Just go ahead and click brand mention here. And what's the brand name? Pretty straightforward. Go ahead and enter your, your brand name. For me, it's page one power. All right, so there are a few filter options as you can see here. We have case sensitive matching. We have must also contain these keywords. Their example here is Air Max. So that would be like for Nike, I believe. Um, results must not contain these keywords so these are great if you're getting a lot of general results if you have a pretty general brand name that is returning irrelevant results you can filter that out you can also exclude certain domains or you can say I only want English results so in my case I don't need any of these page one power pretty unique name doesn't doesn't tend to return too many results, especially not ones that are irrelevant. So we'll just leave it at page one power. Um, it's important to note that we can edit these at any time later though. So if you want to start general and see what kind of results you get, you can always filter back down. All right, so go ahead and click next. And now how would we like to be alerted? So there are three options here. An instant email alert, so the minute BuzzSumo knows about the mention um, they will go ahead and send you an email. Daily Email Digest, which is recommended by BuzzSumo. I recommend it as well. It's a great way to keep these mentions top of mind, um, see them come in every day, and just build into your routine. And then no email alerts. So you actually have to go into the dashboard and manually review for yourself. Um, not a bad option if, if you only want to do this occasionally, but really I recommend the Daily Email Digest. So let's just go ahead and click that. And just like that, we're done. Now let's load in and you can see this is the actual dashboard. It's fetching data and right off the bat you can see that we have a graph showing our mentions over time. Uh, it's important to note that it is filtered out to 30 days. We can also filter down to two weeks or the past week if we'd like. Note that it only holds 30 days of data so um, 30 days is quite a while but um, there's also this export button if we want to maintain historical data you'll have to export it every 20 days or so. I recommend doing that if you want to keep historical data and see who's been mentioning you over time. It's a good idea to do. Now if we scroll down you can see the actual mentions themselves. So 
you can see the title of the page, you can see the logo of the site, you can see the domain. You, we have the option to block the domain if we like, if we're getting a lot of junk within this tab. We can see the total shares on that page. Very powerful. We can even see the mention itself right here. And seven days ago, lots of lots of value right here. This will also come in a daily email digest if that's what you sign up for like we did. All right, let's look at how to create another alert. So go back up here to create another alert. And we will do content from a website this time. So just go ahead and click that. And what website? Let's say moz.com. They're another online marketing tool suite and they run a fantastic blog. Pretty much, I think everyone within the industry reads it. So this would be a good alert to actually set up. So go ahead and enter moz.com. And here's the brilliant parts. So I only want to see content that's been shared a certain amount. Well, what amount? Let's say I want to see something that's only beginning to go viral or is, in fact, pushing the bounds of virality. I'd say 3,000 shares is about that in the SEO industry. So I want to be alerted when Moz has 3,000 shares. A new post go live, 3,000 shares. BuzzSumo will send me an, an alert and let me know that's happened. Pretty straightforward, pretty awesome. Good to keep tabs on a competitor or just industry space. Uh, again, I'm just going to choose a daily email digest. And just like that, we're done. New alert set up. Alright, let's go ahead and I just want to show you quickly how to delete an alert in case you're interested in that. Um, right there, just hover over your alert, click delete, OK. Just like that, alert like it never happened. Definitely important to export your data occasionally for that reason. Very easy to delete an alert if, if you don't intend to. Alright, so now we're going to look at an alert for backlinks. Go ahead and click that and just enter your domain, page1power.com in my case again. Click next. Now we have three options here. We can any link to any page on the domain, so we'll see whenever there's a link to our entire website, or we can choose the exact URL. That's great if we have a new product or service going live or a new big piece of content and we want to really monitor that exact URL and be up to the minute on that of when it receives new links. Or we can just do um, links to the specific subdomain. That's good if you have, say, a blog on a subdomain and you want to monitor your blog specifically. Uh, we're going to choose any page on the domain, though. I really recommend starting with a general alert and then you can filter down to specific URLs with additional alerts if you're so inclined. Again, I'm just going to choose a daily email digest. And that's that. Now this won't pull in any data right away. It needs time to run. But again, past month, we can export. Um, and BuzzSumo will give me a daily email digest to let me know when links are actually coming through. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, pretty powerful. Really great stuff from BuzzSumo. If you're already using the pro subscription of the tool, you really should make sure that you have alerts set up. If you haven't used BuzzSumo at all, give them a 14-day trial. It's really great. It's on their site. Just go to buzzsumo.com and you can find it. Two weeks will definitely show you the power of the tool and whether you should be using it in your daily marketing or not. That's everything from us here at Page1Power. Hope that was helpful and happy linking, everyone.